Hello friends, a very good day to all. I am Dr. Vishal Sooth, teacher educator. In the previous lessons, we have discussed about assessment, continuous and comprehensive evaluation and different tools and techniques which are used by the teachers to assess the learning performance or the achievement of the students in different scholastic areas. Now, today we are going to discuss about a tool to assess or to measure the achievement of the students in different scholastic areas or in different subjects. So today's our discussion will focus on achievement tests, what are its functions, what are the different types of achievement tests and what are the elements of an achievement test. So our today's discussion will remain oriented on meaning of learning achievement functions of achievement tests, types of tests, teacher made achievement tests, their functions and characteristics, standardized achievement tests and its qualities, then elements of a test and in the last we will discuss about certain items of a test. So our framework of today's discussion will remain on these points dealing with teacher made and standardized achievement tests and what are the elements of an achievement test. Learners, you know that in order to know the effectiveness or the efficacy of teaching learning process, the only medium with the teacher is to evaluate the performance of the student. And in order to evaluate the performance of the student or in order to assess their achievement, the only tool which is most widely used in the school or in the classroom by the teacher is an achievement test. So now, why the assessment of learning achievement? is essential. First of all, we must know as a teacher what we mean by achievement. Achievement is a thing somebody has done successfully, especially using his or her own efforts or skills. That means anything which is accomplished successfully by the student by making his or her own efforts, by applying his knowledge and skills, then that successfully completed thing is known as achievement. In order to assess the learning achievement of the students, we as a teacher usually use tests in our schools. That is, we have already said that the tests are most widely used in the classroom to assess the learning performance or the learning achievement of the students. That means whatever you have taught in the class, whether in mathematics or in sciences or in social sciences or in EVS, in order to know, in order to find out whether the expected learning outcomes or the learning objectives which you have set have been achieved or not. For that, you make an achievement test, administer on the students and find out what is the learning level or what is the achievement level of the student. That means you wish to know that whether the students have successfully learned the concepts which came in that particular lesson or not. And that's why the learning achievement assessment is much essential to know the efficacy of the teaching methods, to know the effectiveness of the teaching learning process. The test results Whenever you administer a test, achievement test on the students, the results produced from that achievement test are reflected in the form of scores, which are commonly known as marks or which are commonly known as grades. That means the achievement test results are reflected in the form of marks or numbers or grades. Now, what are the functions of achievement test? Why achievement testing should be there? Why a teacher should take achievement test of the students in the class? There are three different functions. You can see on the screen that the first function of the achievement test is to know the extent of learning achievement of the students with respect to the expected learning outcomes. That means what expectations you have made from the students and whether those expectations or the expected learning outcomes have been achieved or not. 
whether those expected learning outcomes have been met or not. So in order to know the extent of learning achievement of the students and comparing them with the expected learning outcomes or the learning objectives, we administer or we take the achievement tests of the students. The second function of the achievement test you can see on the screen is that is to compare the performance of the students achievement with the performance of other students achievement. That means in order to compare the achievement of a student in a particular subject with the achievement of the other student in the same very subject, we go for achievement testing. And the third function of achievement test is to ascertain the efficacy of teaching, the efficacy of the teaching learning strategies adopted by the teacher or the effectiveness of overall teaching learning process. In order to find out that, we administer achievement tests. Now, how many types of tests are there or how the tests can be classified? You can see on the screen that there are different types of tests and this classification of tests is based on certain criterion or certain standard. Just like if the test is meant for answering in the form of oral or verbal answers, then those tests are known as oral tests. If the student is expected to give the answers in written form, then those are known as written tests. If the expectation is there from the student that he will perform a certain kind of activity, then that sort of test is known as performance test. That means one type of category or one type of classification of test is oral tests, written tests and performance type of tests. Then another classification of test is speed and power type test. Speed tests are those tests in which there is time restriction. That means you assign or you allot a particular time that you have to complete this test within a time period or time duration of one hour. That is a speed test. And some tests are there which are time free tests. There is no restriction on the students, on the candidates to completely respond to that test. Those type of tests are known as power type tests. Just like intelligence tests are power type te of test where there is no restriction on the student to give answers to the questions or the items involved in that. Then another type of classification of test is objective or subjective type test. That means objective tests are those tests in which there is only one correct response or one correct answer of the question. That means the answer to the question are not influenced by the personal biases or the personal interests of the teacher. Those are objective type tests. Whereas, on the other hand, subjective type tests are long answer type of tests or essay type questions are involved in that and where there are chances of the personal interests or the personal biases of the examiner that uh, the answers to those questions may vary depending on the mood, depending on the thinking or the attitude of the examiner. Those type of test which includes the essay type questions or long answer type question or short answer type question, those are subjective type question. These type of test mainly include open-ended questions. Then another classification of test is formative test and summative tests. As we have discussed in the previous lessons, formative tests are those tests which are taken by the teacher during the teaching learning process on a regular basis, on a continual basis at short intervals to improve the learning or to identify the learning difficulties of the students and to provide them feedback. Those tests are known as formative tests. Whereas summative tests are those tests which are administered at the end of a particular course, at the end of a particular unit or at the end of the session 
to grade the students as pass or fail or to promote the students to the next higher class are known as summative type tests. Then another classification is there. You can see on the screen that another classification of test is the teacher made tests or the standardized test. Teacher made tests are those tests which are prepared by a teacher for his or her classroom and these tests are particularly used for the classroom where a particular teacher is teaching the students a particular subject whereas standardized tests are those tests which can be administered or applied in any situation at any place those are known as standardized tests so this is the classification of the test you can see on the screen that tests can be classified depending on the nature of response the time duration allowed, the nature of the answers or the purpose of the test. What is the purpose of the test? On that basis, we also can classify the test. Now, in today's discussion, we will in detail deliberate on teacher-made tests and standardized achievement tests. Now, what we mean by teacher-made achievement tests? Teacher-made achievement tests have more utility in formative assessments. That means such types of tests are prepared by the teacher for his or her classroom only, keeping into consideration the nature of the students, the abilities of the students in his or her class or the nature of the content matter, what is being taught to the students. On that basis, such tests are prepared by the teacher and these tests are more useful in case of making formative assessment of the students. That means these tests are essential for making the assessment a process which is termed as more continuous and comprehensive. That means in teacher made achievement test, we try to identify the learning difficulties of the students or the strengths of the students or weaknesses of the students so that appropriate feedback or remedial measures can be provided to the students and learning among them or their achievement in that particular area, in that particular content or in that particular subject matter can, could be enhanced to the optimum level. So teacher made achievement tests are those tests which are prepared by the teacher to improve learning. Now what are the functions of teacher made tests? You can see on the screen. The first function of teacher made test is to reflect on day to day teaching learning activities of the school. That means through teacher made tests, a teacher, you can reflect on your teaching learning activities, whether you have adopted right kind of teaching learning strategies, whether you have employed right kind of instructional material. So that means you can improve upon your teaching. Through teacher made tests, you will come to know what portion of the content matter has been understood by the students and where the students are still facing difficulties. So you can improve upon your teaching on the basis of the achievement of the students on such teacher made tests. Then another function, second function of teacher made tests is to develop more effective teaching learning strategies. That means you can either devise or use more better more strong and effective and appropriate teaching learning strategies so that the different concepts covered in that particular content matter could be understood by the students. Then the other function of teacher made test is to know the abilities of the individual student so as to form different ability groups in the class. That means on the basis of the results of teacher made test you can come to know about the abilities, the potentialities of the individual students and it will help you in making different ability groups, the homogeneous groups in your class and it will finally help you in using or employing right kind of teaching learning strategies which will lead to enhanced learning among the students. Then another function of teacher made test is to diagnose the students' strengths and weaknesses so as to plan for remedial and enrichment progr programs. That means on the basis of teacher-made tests, you can diagnose 
what are the particular learning difficulties or the weaknesses of the students where they have understood and where they have not understood the concepts what are the strengths in order to find out or identify those strengths or learning difficulties the teacher made tests are most useful and this will help in planning for remedial instruction or providing enrichment programs to the gifted students so it is one of the most important functions of teacher made tests or the formative assessment that we try to diagnose the learning difficulties in order to enhance learning among the students then now what are standardized achievement tests till now we have discussed about teacher made tests which can be used in a particular classroom or which can be used by the teacher within a school now there are tests whose applicability is very wider in nature those tests are known as standardized achievement tests standardized achievement tests consist of high quality test items which are developed by specialists tried out and selected on the basis of difficulty level that means the questions in standardized achievement tests are of high quality these questions have been developed by the specialists the test developers and these tests or these test items have been pilot tested had been tried out and the right kind of test questions have been selected on the basis of difficulty level means in such tests those items are kept or selected which are having a moderate level of difficulty neither too difficult nor very easy questions are retained in standardized tests however one thing we should remember that such standardized tests have limited use in monitoring the learning progress and using them for enhancing learning of the students that means these standardized tests cannot be used for monitoring the learning among the students or finding out the difficulties of the students or for enhancing the learning among the students these standardized tests are used for classifying the students either as pass or fail or either who has obtained the standard set or the parameter set and those who have not obtained the set parameters so the standardized tests have this limitation that these tests cannot be used for monitoring the learning progress of the students now what are the qualities of standardized tests you can see on the screen the test items used in these standardized tests are purposefully designed to measure a clearly defined achievement domain that means these standardized tests have a clearly defined purpose for which purpose the test is particularly have been designed that is much clear that is much authentic or accurate in nature then the test items which are made in the standardized tests are based on standard content that means the content matter covered in standardized test is much standard much valid in nature thereby confirming the provision of using identical tests to different individuals in different places at different times that means the applicability of standardized tests is much wider the same type of test can be used on different individuals in different places at different times whereas this is not possible in case of teacher made tests teacher made tests are only applicable to a classroom or those situations which are similar to the situation for which that particular teacher made tests have been developed that means if you as a teacher have developed a test in mathematics then that test is either applicable to your classroom or that test is applicable to that classroom where the teaching learning situation or the school environment is same as that of your own classroom situation where to so the validity of teacher made test is fine but 
the applicability is narrower whereas the standardized tests have a wider applicability it can be used on different individuals at different places at different times now these tests can be administered precisely under the same conditions that means it the results of such tests are very precise in nature very very accurate in nature and if the similar conditions exist these tests can be administered with high accuracy a standardized procedure of administering of such test is there that means the test developer has defined a proper procedure of administering how to administer this test how to make the seating arrangement of the students during the test administration that is clearly defined in case of standardized tests the scoring of the test is clearly defined how to interpret the results if a student gets suppose 50 marks out of 80 how will you interpret how will you give meaning to those 50 marks that will be clearly defined how the results will be interpreted in case of standardized tests that all are well defined well specified in case of standardized achievement tests now what are the characteristics of teacher made tests first directions for administration in case of teacher made tests there are no uniform directions whereas in case of standardized tests there are standardized instructions uniform directions but in case of teacher made tests no uniform directions are there for administration how to administer that test it depends on the teacher who uses that teacher made test or formative assessment that what directions or what instructions are to be given to the students then in case of teacher made tests the tests are well adapted to the outcomes and the contents of the local curriculum that means whatsoever teacher has taught to the students whatsoever content matter or the strategies have been adopted by the teacher they are taken into consideration while making the test and while scoring the test but this is only in case of teacher made tests whereas in case of standardized test the content is well defined very standardized content is there and it has nothing to do with a particular teacher what he or she has taught in his or her classroom there is standardized content matter standardized curriculum and on the basis of that standardized content and curriculum the test has been developed and that test is standardized test whereas the teacher made tests are developed by taking into consideration the abilities of the students the content which has been taught to the students by the teacher or the local conditions are kept into consideration while making teacher made tests in case of teacher made tests the construction depends on the classroom teacher and his or her capacity and there is often preparation of blueprint there is less scope for item analysis and pilot testing of the test items in case of teacher made test whereas in standardized test the blueprint is prepared table of specification is prepared now regarding this blueprint or table of specification we will discuss in the next lessons but in standardized tests the item analysis is carried out the pilot testing of the questions is carried out that means there is a standardized procedure of developing a standardized test well set procedure of developing a test the teacher made tests can be prepared by the teacher who teaches a particular content to the students in the class no item analysis is carried out less scope is there for item analysis no blueprints or table of specifications are prepared in case of teacher made test then the teacher made test the frequency of using this teacher made test depends on the purpose why that particular test has been developed so the frequency of use of teacher made test is much higher then the purpose of teacher made test is to provide feedback to improve learning among the students to develop good study habits among students whereas standardized tests have different purposes then the use of teacher made test is to compare the scores to make the interpretations 
to that particular school. That means the scores or the results are limited to a particular school and not for comparison with other schools. That means if you take a test in your class, those test results are for your betterment, not for comparison with the other schools or the other classrooms. These tests, teacher-made tests are best suited for measuring particular objectives set by the teacher. What expected learning outcomes, ELOs or learning objectives have been set by the teacher in order to measure whether those learning objectives have been achieved or not. This is the main use of teacher-made tests. Whereas standardized tests have no relation with monitoring of learning progress or learning enhancement of the students. Now, what are the elements of a test? What parts are covered in, in a test? That means, first thing is, a test is meant for a particular class. Whenever you develop a test, that is meant for a particular class. This test is for 8th class. This test is for 7th class. In mathematics, in social sciences, in sciences. Then, there is time duration. The test is of half an hour duration. The test is of one hour duration. Then another element is there are maximum marks fixed for a test. 100 marks test, 50 marks test, 20 marks test. Then another element of a test is testing event. That is annual test or half yearly test or unit test. Whether it is a half yearly test or unit test or an annual test. Then the test comprises of items. Items means questions. So, test is comprised of questions. So, these are the elements of a test, class, subject, time, maximum marks, test items and for what purpose or for what duration half yearly test is that or unit test is that or weekly test is that. Now, test items. Why we say questions as items? You can see on the screen there are four examples. What is the name of the capital city of Bangladesh? Give three reasons for the outbreak of cholera. Poverty is not the only reason for high illiteracy rate. Justify. The longest river flowing in India is black. You have to complete this statement. Now you can see these four examples. The first one is in the question form. The second one is affirmative sentence. The third one is negative sentence. Poverty is not the only reason. It is a negative sentence. And fourth one is a statement which has to be completed by the student. That means all these four examples are in different forms, either in question form, in affirmative form, in negative sentence form or in completion form. That, and all are not in question form. That's why we refer test questions as test items. We say them as items and not as questions because every question cannot be put in the form of a question. So, these are known as test items. So, learner, what we have learned in this lesson, what we have understood in this lesson, let us recapitulate. Firstly, in this lesson, we discussed about the learning achievement, what we mean by learning achievement, why learning achievement should be assessed. Then, Functions of achievement tests were discussed by us. Three functions of the achievement testing. Then we discussed about types of tests. On different basis, the tests can be classified just like speed tests and power tests. Then objective type tests, subjective type tests, formative tests, summative tests. Then we discussed about teacher made achievement tests. What are their functions? We discussed about the functions and the characteristics of teacher made achievement tests. Then we discussed about standardized achievement tests and its qualities. What are the qualities of standardized achievement tests? Then we have an idea about elements of a test. What are the elements of a test? And in the last part of today's discussion, we deliberated on why the test questions are called test items. I hope that you all have understood about all these aspects which are related to achievement testing. Thank you. Have a nice day.